like to take our time today from the Word of God to remind us and to declare once again that Jesus is coming again. 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 16 and 17 in particular, Save for the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of an archangel, with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. There's a lot of, uh, I think, in religious circles today, we don't talk too much about the rapture or about the fact that Jesus is coming again. He's coming back. And uh, it's been 2,000 years since Jesus walked on this earth. Uh, he was born in Bethlehem. He uh, lived, grew, uh, walked the streets of Israel uh, for those 33-plus years. And then he rose again uh, after his uh, crucifixion. He rose again and then rose into the clouds. He ascended back into heaven. And as he did, he reminded his disciples and his followers over and over. The angels as well, right there at the ascension, reminded the followers that he is coming back. And it's been 2,000 years, and people, I think, are beginning to wonder or question or think maybe they misunderstood. We begin to get complacent or set in our ways and uh, begin to question whether or not he's coming again. We can declare from Scripture with absolute confidence that Jesus is coming again. He is coming back in the clouds, in the air, to take us who have accepted him as our personal Savior. Those who have put their faith and trust in Jesus Christ will be raptured, will be taken. Those who have died, uh, their bodies will be, will be risen. Uh, from this earth will be raised from the their bodies will be taken from the graves on here on the earth and taken to heaven and uh, those of us who are alive yet when he comes back and i believe he's coming back very soon i believe he's coming back in my lifetime and when he comes back i will be raptured my body will no longer be uh, upon this earth it will be taken to heaven just as first thessalonians uh, uh, chapter four just just told us a couple thoughts number one his coming is promised he promised that he's coming. In John chapter 14, uh, we have the disciples trying to figure out where he's going and what he's doing. And Jesus said, I'm, I'm going to heaven. I'm going to prepare a place for you. He declared in that same passage, I am the way, the truth, and the life. So his, pro his, his uh, uh, coming again for us is promised in Scripture. Here in 1 Thessalonians chapter 4 that we just read. John chapter 14 and many other passages that we just don't have time to look at right now. But he's absolutely promised that he's coming again to take us to heaven. He's coming again. It's, we, we call it the rapture. Uh, I understand. We understand that the word rapture is not used in the Bible. It's a word that we use to describe that which uh, is going to take place. But Jesus said that he's coming again in the clouds to take us with him. Uh, Satan loves to lull us into a false sense of security, into a false sense of our routine, of where we're at and what we go through every day. It'll always be the same. Things are never really going to change that much. Uh, to talk about things like the rapture uh, and uh, Christ coming back in the clouds and even the ascension uh, when he rose into heaven, all those things become almost yeah. science fiction or mystical or some type of a grand illusion. And yet it's certainly not. Uh, assuredly, as the word of God tells us, how God created everything, how God made everything, how God flooded the earth at the time of Noah, how he divided the Red Sea with Moses and the Israelites, how he came to uh, earth in a, in a manger in the, as a, uh, with a, through the virgin birth, uh, how he died upon Calvary, how he rose again in the same exact way. He's coming again to take us home. So one, his uh, coming is promised. Number two, his coming is eminent. It can be at any time. Matthew chapter 24 I want to look at a verse there, Matthew chapter 24, and verse number uh, 44 uh, tells us, Therefore be ye also ready, for in such an hour as ye think not, the Son of Man cometh. Uh, his coming could be at any time. A lot of uh, prophecy experts and others today like to uh, lead us to believe that all these different things have to be lined up before he comes again. Um, one of the big ones is the uh, the destruction of the temple that is talked about both in Daniel chapter number 8 and earlier in the same chapter here in Matthew 24, which we just read from, verse number 15. The Lord uh, refers to Daniel, he refers to the passage, and he says, When ye therefore shall see the abomination of desolation spoken of by Daniel the prophet, stand in the holy place. Whoso readeth it, let him 
understand the abomination desolation that's the destruction of the antichrist the uh, um, uh, blasphemy of antichrist within the temple itself and upon the the altar there in the temple and we can often look today and say well the temple's not even there the temple's not on the temple mount uh, there's it's it, the building is not even there today and so clearly that has to be there before the antichrist can come back or, or uh, before the antichrist does that and therefore before christ can come back and yet we can clearly see uh, that um, the antichrist is going into the temple uh, at least halfway or a little thereafter in the tribulation time it's going to be a few years into the tribulation uh, before the antichrist walks into the temple and so the temple may not have been started begun built at all uh, before christ comes back there is nothing holding back the return of jesus christ he can come back at any time number three we know his coming is sp specific to his own uh, in other words he's coming back to take home believers those who put their faith and trust in jesus christ uh, we just read matthew 24 beginning of matthew 25 then Right in response to that, Christ gives the parable of the ten virgins uh, who had their lamps with, with the oil, and five were ready and prepared, and five were not ready and prepared, and they didn't have any oil in their lamps. Oil throughout Scripture, always a picture of the Holy Ghost. And so five clearly had possession of the Holy Ghost in their souls, and five did not have possession of the Holy Ghost, for they were not believers. Uh, they were not prepared. They were not ready. And when Christ came back, he found five ready and five that were not there, not ready, not expecting, and not prepared. And so clearly we need to understand that when Christ comes back, he's coming back to take home only those who have accepted Jesus Christ as their personal Savior. His coming is to be watched for. Watched for. Mark chapter 13. Mark chapter 13, verse number 35. Christ says again, Watch ye therefore, for ye know not when the master of the house cometh. At even, or at midnight, or at the cock crowing, or in the morning, it could be any time of day. We don't know, and uh, obviously, I think we we understand. We, you know, what, what is nighttime here is morning in other parts of the world, and so uh, Christ is coming back to this uh, um, earth. He's coming back to take us home. He's coming back in the clouds. We don't know what time of day. We don't know what time of year. Uh, we don't know which year. We don't know when he's coming back. But he's coming back. He promised it. And he's coming back at any time, and we better be prepared for that. And that's my last point. It's number five. We need to be prepared for his return. Oh, if Christ comes back, what's he going to find us doing? Is he going to be able to come back and be able to say to us, well done, thou good and faithful servant? Or is he going to come back and be, boy, hopefully not, but catch us at, a, at an awkward time, catch us involved in sin? Or maybe, probably even more likely, Catch us saying, oh, I wish I'd have known I would have done more. I, I wish I would have known you were coming back, Lord. I would have been prepared. I wish I would have known you were, you were coming back. I would have told more people. I wish I would have known you were coming back. I would have made some changes in my life. Well, he is coming back. He's coming back at any time. He's coming back, he said, as a thief in the night, by surprise. And uh, just when we least expect it, he will return in the clouds. Just want to remind us all today from Scripture, Jesus is coming again.